We turn now to the historic criminal trial of former President Trump set to get underway just over 12 hours from now here in Manhattan. It's the first of four criminal prosecutions Trump is facing, and it may be the only one that goes to trial before the election. More now from ABC's senior investigative correspondent, Aaron Katursky. In little more than 12 hours, Donald Trump will become the first former president to stand trial as a criminal defendant. Lawyers will start whittling a jury pool of hundreds to 12 plus six alternates. Jury selection is largely luck. It depends who you get. Prosecutors have said there's no chance of finding potential jurors without an opinion of Trump. The judge will insist that that view should not get in the way of being fair and impartial. So potential jurors will be asked 42 questions, including whether they've attended a Trump campaign event, follow him on social media, or have strong feelings about how he has been treated. Trump has complained too many potential jurors have been exposed to negative stories about him. It's very unfair that I'm having a trial there. He sought to postpone the trial so it can be moved out of Manhattan. The judge refused, though, saying pre-trial publicity was at least in part of his own doing. Far from the prestige of the White House and the glitz of his golf clubs, Trump will sit in a drab courtroom while prosecutors try to prove he falsified business records to hide hush money payments to porn actress Stormy Daniels before the 2016 election. Trump denies those charges, but if he's convicted, he faces the possibility of up to four years in prison. And, Lindsay, while he could still run for president, he would not be able to vote for himself. Lindsay. Many find that perplexing. Aaron Katursky, our thanks to you.